Well, get your cowboy hats and boots out because the 83rd RGV Livestock Show and Rodeo starts today. That event, though, is not all about the carnival games and the bull rides, even though we want it to be. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> want to see all of that. Our reporter, Kaylee Olivas, is live in Mercedes. Kaylee, it looks like you changed locations. Tell us what we can expect as this rodeo gets underway. Yeah, Sydney, Brenda, like you said, we changed locations. I'm now here in front of the cows. If you can hear me, that's great, but they are mooing so loud, but they are super cute. This is my very first rodeo, and I am stoked to come here. Now, the gates open up at 10 this morning. Last hour, I said 8, but I was wrong. It is 10, but as soon as those gates open up, I will be the first in line, and I will be getting my tickets right after the show. But I will say the rodeo this year will, this year will have livestock. You've got music music, live music, you've got carnival games, and so much more. But the main focus for this event this year is the promotion and education of the livestock industry. The livestock show end of the, of the event is really the staple or the, the foundation of the whole event. Which started out as an idea between the Mercedes Chamber of Commerce and the RGV Livestock Show and Agricultural Exposition in 1939 is now an annual 10-day show filled with livestock. Agriculture is just a, a, a real big uh, portion of the economy here in the valley and uh, we take it very seriously. Uh, we take pride in it and the livestock show is just one way for to involve the youth. To meet that goal of getting kids more involved. We'll have uh, youth out here uh, as, as ambassadors representing different clubs and organizations uh, taking folks throughout the grounds and uh, giving them a, a, a feel for uh, what type of breeds of cattle are being shown, what, uh, what types of uh, uh, swine. Uh. One ambassador you'll see is the RGV Livestock Show and Rodeo's 2023 cover girl, Riley Greer. She's been coming to the rodeo since the fourth grade and now gets to be one of many ambassadors helping out. Passing out ribbons, of course, and then going to the rodeos and meeting new people, which is going to be really, really exciting. Although livestock promotion is and has been the main focus for the RGV Livestock Show and Rodeo for the last 83 years, it has way more to offer than just these guys that you see behind me. It's rodeo time, RGV. Just a little, a little bit of everything for everyone. And other than the music and the bit, of course, we have our PRCA rodeos. Uh, that's a big draw. Even with slowly transitioning out of a pandemic, organizers are leaving safety decisions up to the guests. We respect everyone's uh, desires and beliefs and wishes, and uh, uh, we just feel everyone has a choice to make. And uh, it, we, we encourage uh, masking and. Uh, social distancing is that if folks uh, would like to do that, that that's great general manager mando Correa believes this year's turnout will be one of the largest since 2019 Now the RGV Livestock Show and Rodeo will run through today and like I said starting at 10 this morning all the way through March 20th so you'll have 10 full days of fun, laughter, live music and of course these cows. We'll have all that ticket information and much more up on our website that's always putting local first. So that's valleycentral.com. Reporting live in Mercedes this morning, Kaylee Olives. Kaylee, thank you for the tip off. We love it. Those cows seem to love it too. They seem to love you. It's a lot going on in there. Kaylee, tell us a little about uh, a little bit about how it smells there. <laughs> uh, I will be honest, it's a little smelly, <laughs> but of course it's because I've got the cows right behind me. It is a blast so far. The gates haven't even opened up and I, it's it's got a ton of buzz around it, so I'm sure it's going to be a packed crowd even on today's opening day. So I suggest getting there early, maybe not as early as I did today, but definitely get there early. Get your tickets online because you won't want to miss this once in a lifetime opportunity. All right, Kaylee, thank you so much. Enjoy your first rodeo. Remember, guys, you can watch the coverage later on today from the <laughs> fairgrounds where we'll have all that coverage of the first day.